let's get start demo first so this is same series of dapper using dotnet core web api and this session will learn actually how we can use that multiple query together so this is what i have implement actually here uh, let me pass any company id which is how many com employers associate that will return so suppose for example company id 2 so what we did the result here see company id 2 for a sensor and how many employees over there there is a two three employees over there similar if i pass to one uh, as a company id so based on this whatever employee id so that will be written and actually uh, binding that result so that will implement using the dot net core web api and dapper and go to that implementation now but before that i especially recommend if you first time visit so definitely you have to go to check out my dapper session so all that series actually going on over here so you can start for first from here then you have to proceed because all the implementation and structure and all everything is done so if you come with this in a mid session so definitely it's really hard to understand that so moving forward to implementation go to that uh, our uh, existing uh, you know repository which i already mentioned in our github link so you can check out that one also so now what you need to do so first first i just implement uh, one repository go to that our repository class you know repository uh, signature and here i will just implement that signature first for multiple uh, queries so i will just create a one signature so that is called you know get get a company employees multiple result okay and then moving forward to our implementation in concrete class in the company repository and here simply uh, let me collapse all the method so that it should be short and then simply i will use inbuilt one method which is provided the dot net uh microsoft implement uh, interface and it will give us give us to uh that default implementation right so now here what i need to do i have to write one query which will return actually which will write to query so see here simply i just call select star from that company where id is whatever id we are passing it is a company id right and then again just you know terminate with the semicolon and then again i have to use select star from that employee and where is the company id is whatever company id which is actually a foreign key relationship in here right so that's why how i can just add over here and then what i need to do i have to simply create a using statement over here like this using connection and whatever our database factory they will create a connections and inside here what i will do i have to use another using statement to get all the data with together and just we can merge over here so simply see uh using that uh actually i have to use that async because we are using async so we have to decorate by async method and this method so see simply what i am trying to do again i have to create this in a variable to using this like whatever connection we have to get that there is an extension method actually which will return the multiple query output so that is called is query multiple async and here we have to just pass to query and then whatever id so as an input so that i have to pass and i have to store as a multiple uh, data result data set over there in the multiple here and also see here the return type is uh, that sql mapper to grid reader right so that is actually stored the all the result a uh, multiple data set and then what i'm trying to do simply use that multiple read async method and pass that whatever you know uh, entity like we want to uh, read from that company uh, company result right so that will store over here once is get it over here then i'll have to check like if it is not null then what i will do whatever company have as a you know collection of the employee so that i have to bind so how we can bind simply again use same multi multi you know 
multi data set and here i need to call read async extension method and pass whatever our entity like this is a collection of entity right so simply you have to pass that whatever entity and then specify it is actually return as a enable list so you simply five converted the to list and you have to get it over here and finally you have to return back to our company data and if you go to that company see company has a company information along with their uh, employee information right so that's the way actually we have bind here easily once it's done what i need to do go to that you know service layer and we have to expose one service method so that that abstraction we can use for our controller right uh, so go to your here we have to create a one method uh, that name should we get company employees with the multiple result right and that we have to implement in our concrete class so go to that company repository here again you have to just collapse all the method and implement that new method new signature and here i have to uh, just call that uh, what is called that is service uh, that repository and in this repository here see uh, let me decorate first and the company repository and in this company repository we have our method uh, get company employee data we are passing that id and it will return simply as a company data our entity model now in this entity we have to convert in our dto so simply what i need to do which i already have been done for other method eh, that's why i am recommend to you first you have to go to my previous session so this is actually we using the mapper or in this mapper we have to just pass to it this as our dto model so this dto also have a same uh, sequence like a, we have a id or miss company details along with the employee details and then we have to pass it to our simply it will convert and return back to here once your service layer has been done we can we have to call in our uh, controller so we have to expose one more uh, method of that uh, here so let me expose one more endpoint that is called http get pass it the you know route like multiple result and here i simply i create a one method uh, get employee with the uh, get uh, get company employees multiple result id passing the id and here i have to call that simply that service nothing we have to do over here because this is abstraction of that service layer so simply I call and get the data and return back to over here so that's all have done let me build so that we can make sure it is perfectly uh, working there is no any build error so this is build succeed that means there is no error everything is smooth and let me run okay so once it's run see we have all the endpoints uh, which one this one we have let us introduce so let me call this and make sure first i just call this id once i get the id first id company id which have you know the multiple data and then if you have a two id so that also should be get a, a based on this their employees id and if you want to show how it's working so also i can put debugger point i can show you like how is actually it's working so first debugger point the controller level then in the service level and then it's a repository level so that is actually important here so let me execute one more time over here go up execute so it is reaching debugging point of our controller it is reaching our you know, service layer and once i click it will come over here repository layer. so let me forward my debugging point it is just simply create a connection and here they just storing the data actually this is a data reader right so they read the data for that on a multiple query data set and here what we will do they will call one by one based on number entity so if we call this one whatever entity i have passed so they will return back to our entity see all only they pa returning our com uh, company details right so once the company details fetch 
if it is not null then what i am trying to do again i have to uh, call this you know multi method to pass it in employees so it will return uh, employees information as well we have to trying to bind over here simply and return back to our controller that's it so like this way actually we can easily achieve with multiple query uh, which have the relation um, primary and foreign key relation we can easily achieve so that's all for this session uh, let's quickly recap what we have done so that you can you don't miss anything okay so first what i am trying to do first i just simply i just create a one repository method over here get company employees multiple result and then go to our implementation of company repository here simply i specify this multiple query and create a connections uh, you know get that multiple connection using that you know extension method and based on this we have to trying to re read the data from that company as well as employee list and once it's done then go to your service level and in service level i have exposed one more method and there is implementation as well simply i call that repository method and get the data and simply i have to uh, convert to entity to dto and pass it to controller and now moving go to the controller here just simply i expose a one more method uh, endpoint and here i have to call that service and service method and simply pass it to over here so like this way actually we can quickly uh, achieve this functionality with multiple query in dapper so that's all and in upcoming session we'll learn more and more like how we can get that multiple company id multiple company list along with them uh, their employees id right so that we'll do in upcoming session so till now thank you have a nice day and don't forget to like subscribe and share